But first, it is costing more than £200 million, but it promises to vastly improve journeys to Luton Airport. A new rail link called the Luton Dart is well under construction. It'll connect the existing Luton Airport Parkway station directly to the terminal. At the moment, passengers have to make that last part of the journey by bus, sometimes facing huge congestion. Mosami Bakshi has been to see the progress. Welcome to the future. A £225 million journey through the outskirts of Luton. Up in the air, through the airport and into the terminal. The cost of the project might be massive, but the time getting to the airport won't be. At the moment, this looks like any other ordinary building site, but in two years' time, where I'm standing will be a track either side of platform, taking shuttles all the way up to the airport, up and over that viaduct, delivering passengers to the terminal in just under four minutes. But why an airborne shuttle system? One look at the site reveals the challenge facing engineers. The area around Luton Airport is heavily congested. So for their shuttles, designers have looked to the cable car for inspiration. It's an electric system, so it's, it's powered by electric, so eco-friendly uh, with uh, emissions and noise. Uh, that adds to the, the whole context of trying to reduce emissions in, in airports. Uh, it's a hilly site. Luton uh, isn't, isn't given a renown for being mountainous, but in this particular point, the, the 50 metre rise over 500 metres gives it a bit of a challenge uh, in getting a self-propelled train up a, a track. But before they go up, they have to dig down below. This is the maintenance depot, the guts of the system where once passengers were dropped off but it wasn't easy. For an airport calling itself London Luton, the journey from the capital to the terminal relied on buses as well as trains. Now it can all be done in just over 30 minutes. This really enables us to compete with, uh, with all of the other London airports. It puts us on a level playing fields and it gives us direct transport, transport into central London and up to the Midlands as well. The council, which has bankrolled the project, claims the new shuttle system will bring in £76 million to the regional economy, which begs the question, why did it take so long to build a scheme that could transform the airport's fortunes? We had a recession, so that wouldn't have been the appropriate time. But I think the, the growth in air travel is one thing that has happened uh, exponent exponentially more recently. And we have worked on in, um, improving the transport links to the airport overall. Flying out of Luton will be quicker by 2021 when the shuttle opens, meaning the country's fifth largest airport could become even busier. Mosmi Bakshi, BBC Look East, Luton.